I recently saw two films, Zombie and Zombie Holocaust, that were very, very, very close. I might as well combine the review. The zombie begins with a boat in New York with a zombie on it. They then find out, they're like, whoa, whoa, okay, something is weird here, which then, of course, makes them go to an island, which is where the boat came from. So you have a doctor on an island, and there's zombies. They do a pretty nice amount of doing kind of the weird, you have an island, weird, crazy doctor, some cannibalism. And this one actually has a much, much more impressive feel to it. It's... It's a slow burn. They do a nice job on some of the, the practical effects. They do a good job, and you'll see one scene repeated quite a few times. But what you're seeing is, you'll see the initial scene, you're like, okay, no idea what's going on. And then they go back to it. They've added enough, you're just like, oh, okay, I know what's going on. Then they go to it again, and you're like, oh, okay, now it's a perfectly fleshed out scene. It also has some really, really great classic moments to it. And then there's the B version of it, which is called Zombie Holocaust, which is people on an island with a doctor, cannibals, and zombies. They're both actually pretty good movies. They both have really, really nice, iconic scenes to them. Like a scene where you're watching a bunch of zombies stagger down a bridge heading towards a major metropolitan area. Feels great. Watching zombies fight sharks underwater. Nice great feel to it. So these two films are very, very close. If you want to see, Zombie is the more... Zombie is the less gore-filled one. It's the less B-movie. Where Zombie Holocaust is very, very close to... Now, of course, I'm reviewing American Zombie. Which may or may not have a different title if you were to see the, uh, the Italian version. This is one of those words you have Zombie, Zombie 2, Zombie Flesh Eater... Zombie with e, zombie without the E, Zombie with the E, Zombie 2. So you do have a bunch of films that are very, very, very close in title that are actually, depending on the country of origin, are identical or slightly different from the other ones. So Zombie and Zombie Holocaust, nice 70s zombie films. Zombie, of course, has the high production value and isn't as, as B-movie. Zombie Holocaust is an almost verbatim plot with uh, the B-movie aspect added to it.